And now, the only channel on YouTube that keeps it real. What's up, brothers? I hope everybody's doing well out there. <laughs> Sorry, man. I ate an edible and I uh, I drank a little bit today, so I'm a little off. But anyways, I'm going to uh, start making some YouTube videos about money, about making money, investing money. So we're going to continue talking about dating advice. You know, that's kind of what we do on this channel. But we're also going to talk about making money because in a lot of ways, I love money more than I love women. So it's only a natural progression to get to talking about money. And I've got a few, you know, got some big boys we're going to make some videos with, you know, some elite level multimillionaires that we're going to collaborate with. I'll put it like that. So before I get into that, um, that stage of this journey, I figured it would be a good time to make a video about giving money to women and about why you should never lead with your money, why you should never give women money. I'm a little bit toasty. Anyways, now I want to talk about an eye-opening experience that I had myself about women and money, all right? Now, when I was a, like straight out of high school, like late, like a teenager, 18, 19 years old, the dating game was a little bit different. We had cell phones, but we didn't have social media. So what would happen is you would go out, you would approach women, you would meet them, you would get their phone numbers. You would go out with them. Sometimes you would date them. Sometimes you would just hook up with them, you know, whatever. But it was a very simple process. Now we have social media and social media has changed things. And more importantly than social media, you have Cash App and you have PayPal and you have, you know, that kind of shit. So, <laughs> so it's crazy because you'll have girls on dating apps literally putting their Cash App on their profile or 10 minutes after meeting you. Giving, hitting you with their cash app, you know, shit like that. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that reach out to me and they're like, Hey man, you know, I really like this girl and she keeps trying to get me to send her money on cash app and shit like that. And I see this in real life too. You know, I see women trying to finesse men. So rather than make a video saying, don't give women money, I want to help you guys see what's going on when you give a woman money. Now, the eye-opening experience that I had was with a girl who was a sugar baby. And I didn't know she was a sugar baby when I met her. I just knew she was a baddie. Um, I, don't know, I was like, all right, cool. This girl's into me. She's really hot. So, you know, it is what it is. So the first time that we hung out, it was like Christmas time. And we went to take a walk uh, and look at some Christmas lights. So I didn't spend a dime. We just went to go take a walk and she calls me a few days later and she wants to come over. She shows up at my place with a bottle of tequila, a $300 coach wallet with $400 inside of it. So that's $700 worth of gifts for me just to come over to spend three hours with me to watch a movie and have sex. Now this girl was a waitress she did not make enough money to spend $700 on me for three hours. So I knew something was up. So come to find out she's running around with a bunch of older dudes. They're giving her money. I don't know what she's doing. I don't care what she's doing. I didn't ask. But what I learned from this situation was women will treat certain guys like Objects that are just there to give them money. But they don't respect these guys. They don't love these guys. They don't want to fuck these guys. And then other guys, they will literally take the money that they got from those guys and go over to these other guys, buy them shit just to get some quality time. That's female nature at its finest. It's kind of, it's fucked up. Like, doesn't it defeat the purpose? Like, why would you, why would she spend time with that guy, some old guy and fuck him and take hundreds of dollars from him 
just to turn around and spend hundreds of dollars to fuck me when she could have just fucked me for free. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And women don't make sense. And that's okay. They're not supposed to make sense. But what I want to talk about, the reason why I want to express this is if you're a guy that's leading with money or if women are hitting you with the cash app, they're showing you that they don't respect you. And they're showing you that they see you as a guy who they can take money and resources from, and then they can slide off with some other guy. Because what you need to understand is there are three ways of attracting women, only three ways. Number one is emotional attraction. Number two is sexual attraction. And number three is a lifestyle attraction. So if a woman has an emotional attraction to you, that means she loves you. If a woman has a sexual attraction to you, it means she wants to fuck you. If a woman has a lifestyle attraction to you, uh, fucking bitch, it means she wants to use you for your money, for your resources, for your lifestyle. Now, there's a lot of guys out there that actually want to lead with the money, right? You see guys buying expensive jewelry for themselves, expensive clothes, expensive cars, and they do it all just to look good for women. That's fine. I'm all about the money too. I make a lot of it. But when you're doing that simply to attract women, what you have to understand is, you know, what kind of bait are you fishing with? You're fishing with bait that's going to attract gold diggers. You don't want to do that. You would be much better off making a million dollars because I want every single one of you to be a millionaire. But when you make that million dollars, don't show it. Don't even show your money. You don't have to flex. You know, when you're getting to know women, you should be taking women out to the fucking park. Take a walk at the park. Literally. Most of my relationships have started out by a walk at the park. <laughs> Seriously, and invite them over to your place. Maybe if you really feel like going out, invite them out for a drink. Have a good time. But that's because you want to do it. It's not because you want to impress them. You know, too many guys just want to lead with the money. Like knowing that there are three ways that you can attract a woman. And I want you to get this through your head, just, just understanding that there are three ways that you can attract a woman, emotionally, sexually, or through your lifestyle. Why would you choose lifestyle? Knowing lifestyle has nothing to do with who you are. It has nothing to do with your personality. It has nothing to do with your dick game. It has nothing to do with any of the shit that you really care about. Like, in a relationship, you want an emotional connection with a woman. In a, in a relationship, you want a good sex life with a woman. You want her to want to fuck you. In a relationship, you don't really want to waste your money on her. You would probably rather have a girl that's smart with money, that doesn't want to spend all your money, that will help you grow financially, right? But the problem is most of you guys run game as a sugar daddy. Most guys out there do that nowadays. I saw a guy the other day, six foot four, excellent style, good looking guy in good shape. And he walked over to me and he said, hey man, how do you add money to Cash App? I said, I don't know. I make way too much money to use Cash App. <laughs> I don't care about Cash App. I don't use it. Why? Well, but, but tell me why. He says, I'm trying to talk to this girl, man. And, uh, she needs me to send her some money on Cash App. And I'm thinking, dude, 6'4", good looking, good style, has his shit together. And you're sending dumb bitches money on Cash App. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's going to take that money, get her nails done. If you send her enough, maybe buy a gift for a dude that she actually wants to fuck. A dude that she actually wants to spend time with. I've witnessed it firsthand. Never give a woman money. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was somewhat informative. I'm a bit toasty and I'm not exactly sure how this one came out. But sometimes, you know, you just got to hop in the studio and record a video on the spot when you're thinking about the subject. 
But the key point that I want to drive home on this video is I want you to remember there are three ways, three, only three ways that you can attract a woman emotionally, sexually, and financially, lifestyle. Emotional connections are built on quality time, okay? And sometimes you need a little bit of distance, right? If a woman misses you, she's going to build an emotional connection with you. So it's good to spend quality time, but it's also good to go do your own thing. Be your own man. Have your shit together. Have a life. And that shit will work itself out. The sexual attraction, I've already told you, yeah, the looks matter in this category. Work out. You know, have a decent style. Also have a mouthpiece. Do not be afraid to speak sexually to women. Speak like you got the hammer. Because you do have the hammer. We got, we got the hammer, bro. You, you know, you got the hammer. You got to speak like you have the hammer. But if you're talking money with women, and you're giving women money, you're running backwards. Because... She's not going to respect you. She's going to be repulsed by you so much that she's going to take your money and go see a guy that she has an emotional connection with, a sexual attraction to. She's going to spend that money on him, suck his dick, fuck him. He's going to kick her out. She's going to miss him. She's going to go back to you, take your money, take that money and go back to him. And that's how the cycle is going to work. Nothing good in a sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship. So keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to ramble on any further. Hope this video was somewhat informative. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And that's about it for tonight, guys. Until next time, see ya.